This video is an overview of the Datazen client, its capabilities and use. Datazen is a product that provides an intuitive, easy to use interface to the Microsoft BI stack. Datazen has native clients for Windows, iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and all can be downloaded for free from each platform's app store. In addition to that, there's also an HTML5 web client that supports web browser access. Datazen dashboards are created with the Datazen Publisher client application, which is currently only available for Windows. The Datazen server runs on Windows Server 2008 R2 64-bit or Windows Server 2012 64-bit. All client communication with the server is done via a web app that runs in IIS, and all server client communication happens through HTTP or HTTPS. Uh, for more details on the Datazen server, check out the Datazen server overview video. Now, to best demonstrate Datazen, let's take a look at the Windows client. This here is a fresh install from the Windows Store. I'm running the Datazen Publisher application, which also allows you to create uh, dashboards. And when you start the client for the first time, you're prompted to connect to a server. And the details are filled in by default. This is a demo account which, can, which serves some demo content, and it's very useful for getting to know some of the, some of the client capabilities as, as well as for demonstrating it to other people. So I'm just going to click on Connect with the default settings. And it asks you to run the publisher in the background. Uh, I recommend this. Uh, this updates all your um, dashboards behind the scenes and is very useful for users who, uh, who have real content and want their data to be updated. So whatever your, your server is that you log into, you always get to see the content that only your user has permissions to see. So with this demo account, we get a bunch of KPIs, dashboards, and really there's dashboards, all kinds of dashboards, uh, different types of dashboards for different sectors like retails, claims, and, you know, some other uh, types of sales or specialized dashboards, as well as KPIs. So within Datazen, we have two basic uh, types of visualizations. One is dashboards, the other is KPIs. The purpose of KPIs is to provide a quick view at your metrics or KPIs. Uh, each KPI tile, like we have here on the left, uh, can show only a single metric. It can, it can optionally compare it to a target, as well as show some historical data in the form of this trend chart. And also it can, uh, it can display a background color, which is calculated based on an, on an expression. So this is a very useful in uh, real life scenarios because with one glance of these KPIs, I can see how my uh, key metrics, uh, how, how I'm performing and how, how the key metrics are. So for example, I just see something is red and it draws my attention. And then I can click on it and I can see what users are commenting here. And perhaps if it's, uh, if, if I need to investigate more, I can click on a related dashboard and go find out, uh, find out more details to see why something is red or why something is not the way I expect it to be, or perhaps why something is good. So those are KPIs. Uh, the other concept within Datazen is dashboards. And with dashboard, there's a lot more flexibility and a lot more depth that you can um, that you can find out about your data. So for example, this is a sales dashboard. It shows some sales data, some sales trends, and also bra breaks it down. It also has this time navigator, which allows you to select a time range for which you want to investigate your data. You can also zoom into this time range and you know get more specific with your selection to find out what's going on. Again, with all the dashboards, you also have the activity uh, stream, which basically means all users, if they're given the right permissions, can comment here or read comments uh, on a specific dashboard. So this is just one dashboard example. Uh, let's take a look at another. Um, this dashboard here is 
a corporate's core card. So here we have, we can make a selection on a corporate group or a division and see how that specific group or division is performing. Um, and as I said, uh, you can, um, you, there's a lot of flexibility uh, that you can, you can have with, with these dashboards, as you can see just by, uh, you know, browsing through these dashboards or trying, the, tr trying out the designer and uh, creating some dashboards yourself. So on top of this, uh, Datazen has a very useful concept uh, with branding. And branding allows uh, the whole data and client to be branded in the uh, it, with, with the colors and the logo and the whole style of the of the client. Uh, to demonstrate this, I'm just going to uh, create a new server connection, and and. Basically, this is just going to mimic a user connecting to their server. And when we connect, this is a fictitious Fabricam insurance company. I get their dashboards here, which are, which are styled with their uh, color scheme. But also, uh, as you see here, within a few seconds, the, their whole background uh, kicks in. There's just, there's just fairly plain, but uh, you can see the data is in. Uh, the data and branding is really brought to a minimum. Just this, um, just this powered by data and in the bottom corner. But the whole background, the color scheme for the dashboards, and the logo here uh, can be customized to that of the client. Uh, this functionality that I have demonstrated so far is available in every client. All mobile clients, uh, Android, iOS, Windows Phone, as well as the web client have this functionality to view KPIs, dashboards, as well as have the custom branding uh, displayed. And this is really what, will, uh, what gets uh, used by majority of the end users. Now, what I also want to show you here is the is the ability to create dashboards. Uh, this is, since this is the data and publisher application, you can just click here on create and you can quickly create a dashboard. Uh, there's a more detailed uh, video that walks you through the publisher, but I'm just going to give you a basic overview here of what's available. So you can start from an existing dashboard as a template or start from a new dashboard and you're brought to this designer screen. Uh, the idea here is that you can just drag controls here onto the design surface, resize them to the size you want, and uh, they will just... Uh, they will just, uh, you know, fill in the space that you, that you allocate to them. So the idea is you drag uh, control here, then you fill in some... Um, set some visual properties, number, uh, number format properties, and uh, uh, below set titles and so on. And you have a whole range of controls you can choose. Uh, some of these controls we call navigators. They allow end users, they provide interaction to the end user and they allow the end user to filter the data uh, that is being displayed in the in these uh, dashboards. So one of these uh, one of these uh, navigators is a time navigator and it allows you to select a time range for which the data will be filtered. Another one is a selection list and basically a selection list can bind to a data column like people or products and allows you to select a single product uh, that you want to see the you know the data displayed for. Um, it can also it has features such as you know multi-select if you want to select more than one product or it can also work instead of a list based structure it can work off a tree based structure so if you have hierarchical data you can also show that. Uh, another type of uh, end user interaction is the drill down and on most controls uh, you can set a drill through target. Uh, this target can be, uh, you can choose a dashboard or a custom URL and you can even pass parameter, you can pass uh, the context of the current user selection or where they clicked on to the a target dashboard or a custom URL. So basically you can chain dashboards and drill through to uh, you know, multiple levels to, for users to get to the data they need. 
So once you've designed your dashboard, there's a few other options you can uh, select here. One is to choose a color palette. Um, you can very easily style your uh, your uh, your whole dashboard by just choosing one of the available color palettes. And it, like I said, every custom theme, you can create a color palette which is customized to each client. So that's also available here. Another very useful option is uh, creating mobile uh, f uh, views for tablets or phones. So what we have here is what we call the master view. And this gets displayed on most, uh, on most clients with uh, large display uh, surfaces. But you can also very easily create an alternate view for the phone or the tablet. And what happens is that what we do here is we give you all the controls that you've used in your master view and they keep the same properties, same uh, data connections in the background, but you can just choose uh, you can just choose to uh, to style them, uh, sorry, sorry, to position them differently in the view. So for example, we may want this time navigator here, maybe this selection list we need, but we don't want it taking up all the space. So we'll just give it one row and it'll work like a drop down uh, combo box. Uh, maybe we don't want to show the map in the in this view, just give more space to this chart so it's more visible and maybe this gauge will just come down here to show the data. And you can see within a minute you have you have a mobile view. Now also keep in mind that uh, all m the mobile views for both uh, tablet and the phone are uh, shown when uh, the device is in the portrait mode. When you fl when you flip it to landscape mode, you, you will always get the master view on the on the device. So uh, th this is basically the design process. You create your layout. You go to the data view. Uh, you click on uh, add data. Uh, you have to choose the data's in working folder, which is basically where your local uh, dashboards will be saved. You can just choose a folder. And then you can connect, you know, if you have, you can choose to import uh, data from local Excel files or from your data's in server connection. So uh, let's go to this uh, data's in server connection. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, so in this corporate overview, we can click on this data and demo DB. And basically here, each user will see the views that they have access to that they can use to create uh, data, to create dashboards. So yeah, I will just click here on import. And basically, you will get these views here. And uh, you basically then just go through each control and connect it to the data. The details of this are shown in uh, in the publisher video, which I'll uh, show you in a second. But basically, that's the idea. You just once you create your da dashboard, you click here to publish to server, and you know within a minutes, uh, all clients who have access to this dashboard will be able to see it. Uh, now, I mentioned uh, the data is in uh, uh, publisher video. If you just search YouTube for uh, designing dashboards with data in publisher, you will find a more uh, a data in publisher video which talks into a bit more detail about how to use these controls and how to connect to data. And also, finally, if you go to datasin.com slash docs, you will, ha you will see the our entire documentation, including this section, creating and publishing dashboards. And it has a lot of useful information about the data model, how to prepare dashboard data, as well as, you know, configuring your navigators or visualizations, as well as advanced toppings, you know, how to create parameterized views with load on demand, uh, personalized data views, and so on.